This exhibition is a kind of a continuation of my past works in that a lot of the imagery I've actually been working with for quite a while, you know, a number of years since I, I really got into drawing in graduate school, it became like a primary medium for me. Like the characters are such a part of me. The body language, the attitudes of the characters, the subject matter, it, it's something that exists, it's out there, it's in here. It has to do with like maybe a feeling or even the atmosphere. hit the pen well I make a mark I see what it is I make another mark I make another, another mark and it's just going and I, it's just happening right then there's no turnaround time it's just almost just pure as a friend said brain to paper pure brain to paper I just I'm really happy that that's happened to me process is such an intuitive, spontaneous process. To actually plan something out in detail is very difficult for me. I thought I was supposed to come up with a clear-cut idea for id space. They actually wanted me to do something spontaneous and intuitive and just, you know, right off, just go there and execute it. And um, that's what I ended up doing. And, you know, they, they had faith in me and encouraged me on that. And that wasn't what I was going to do, but I, that, that is what I ended up doing. And that, that, that initial idea that I ended up using, the most kind of concrete idea was just a part of a poem I'd written just saying that I'm on the yellow brick road and that I'm down the rabbit hole and that my men never never land. <laughs> you know, kind of a, just a funny thing talking about some various children's stories of our culture. I draw and paint the nude figure, and I go to life drawing sessions. I try to go every week to paint the, or to draw the nude model and to work on proportions and my drawing. You know, it helps my drawing to draw from life, and the nude figure is more interesting to me than like a still life or a landscape. So I, I do that as much as I, as much as possible. I draw from life and draw the nude figure. You know, the nude, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's been a theme in, in art. Um, you know, Michelangelo worked with the nudes, the Greeks worked with the nude all, all throughout history. And, you know, it was more of a mythological or um, subject matter that people were doing. And then with Manet, you know, he broke the, he, he made a shift and started drawing ordinary people nude. I take it a step further. I do go back to some kind of mythology, you know, creating my own mythological characters somewhat with the nude, but um, also just ordinary people nude. I like to really leave it up to the viewer on an individual basis. You know, I set up a framework, I set up something that 
you can look at and have your own experience with. The drawings were more private. A lot of times I just keep these hardbound sketchbooks and draw and just show to friends. And that was kind of my own personal thing. And then, you know, over time, and now with this show, it's just, it's just gone totally public. some of the drawings in there I was drawing and I took a chance and I did something I made a big line for a leg and then I was like well wow I really screwed that up but then you know what I just pulled it together and I just make it work somehow you know, I, you know like sometimes I feel like I've just made the biggest mistake and I've just ruined the whole thing but somehow I've been lucky and turn turn those mistakes around and turn them into something Thank you.